Hey, welcome to Draw Kids Draw, and today I'm going to draw Anna from Frozen. Um, again, this one's going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, it's going to be more of a sketch advanced drawing um, because I find these one, I find Anna and Elsa were both quite difficult to draw uh, off the top. So I might do a more cartoon version later, but for now I'm doing the advanced sketch-like version. So we'll start off with her face. Um, she has a face that is quite, quite round. Um, so I'm going to draw a circle first just to give me a, so in sketch drawing I draw lightly, so just to give me a kind of a rough idea of my dimensions. Um, so I'm going to start for her cheek here, and she has a bit of a pointy chin, like most people. Um, so it comes down, pointy chin, and we're going to draw her cheek up here. Kind of comes down a little more straight to her chin. There we go. And then her uh, forehead will be right here. And let's see. Uh, she has a little bit of hair coming down here. And then that's probably the shape of her head. Um, from there, I'm going to draw her ear. Her ear comes out here about. Starts off right below her cheek line, so yeah, that looks good. And she's got kind of, kind of a big ear. Kind of a cute ear. There we go. Um, now we're going to do her hair outline, so she's got a little bit of a bit of hair coming down here. And then she's got a tuft hair coming across and a part right there. Um, so that's, and then this comes down over here. So she's got uh, this little part and then this bunch of hair comes over here and it goes down like that. Uh, this part goes up. And then it kind of comes down like that. And this part kind of goes up and over. It comes down around her ear, around her ear. around and her ear gets kind of cut off by this hair here so it kind of hides behind the hair there and then this is all going to kind of turn into her braids so I'm going to race behind the ear there just to get rid of that distracting me and she's got a bump of hair right here too so that's going to be her general hair. And kind of jags down there. That's her bangs. Um, let's see. Her neck is going to be about here. And right to her chin. Right about there. And there. So. That's pretty good. Uh, she's got a little bump in her ear. There, I'll erase that line that goes through. Hmm, 
So I'm going to draw her shoulder now a little bit so we can get to her braids and stuff. Um, so her shoulder kind of comes down and it's not much wider than her hair so she kind of shoulder falls here. She's kind of got kind of standing on an angle here in this picture. And so I don't get to see the shoulder actually. Um, because her braid is in the way. So there we go. And so she's got a top on here. Like that. there there's a kind of a vest like thing that she's wearing and that'll come down like this That's generally how that's going to go. So now I'm going to move on. I think I might finish up her braids, I guess. Um, like I did with Elsa, I kind of continued drawing. So uh, this braid comes across here. This braid comes from behind there. So this part kind of swoops out from behind and then we'll make this line where her neck is just for convenience and then this one kind of makes a square. Mark Crilly once said you make little heart shapes until I see it, I see what he's saying um, so he kind of says this. Let's take this away, this line. And so he's saying, make a heart. So this is kind of the heart shaped. And then you put a line across right here. So I'm going to keep making the heart shape so that it's obvious to you if you haven't figured it out yet. I kind of need to make these come down a little bit differently. They're going a little too high. So I'll start the braid over and show you what I mean. So, okay, the heart shape comes into play here. So heart shape, heart shape, heart shape, heart shape. And a heart shape a little longer, kind of a tie, and then a break, uh, the end of the hair. So, clean up inside the hearts, where there's background lines. And So now that we're done the heart shapes, we kind of just do a line here. And that's where the braid goes under. It comes back out here and it kind of goes like this. So, yeah, this one goes under, comes out under here. Swoops under this part, comes down here, and 
think I did it a little bit wrong actually. So, gosh. So this one comes under this one. No, I think I was right. So you kind of just make these lines here. And that's the braid. Um, so if we want to make it look a little more realistic, we put some lines. Coming out from under. There we go. That's the braid. So now this side, her braid is going to be coming out. So this is. There we go. Now the heart shaped again. shape, kind of an off-kilter heart shape a little bit, if you really want to be fussy about it. And then a tie, and then, and a clean up inside there. Now with my big eraser I have to Kind of touch up some stuff because because well it's a big eraser and it's hard to use so draw 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 that's her hair. I'm going to keep drawing her hair while I'm at it. So with hair, you just kind of lightly draw some lines in the direction that it's going. In a sketch way, you don't really have to um, draw every hair. You just kind of give the idea of the direction of it. And this one kind of goes over and down, over and down, over and down, over and down. She's got a white spot, right, from when she got frozen. That's up there. And so just kind of amplify these lines because they get kind of muddled with the other lines that I made. So I kind of make them stand out a little more. So we get the general shape. And let's see. And this is all going to go into the braid. And her braid has a streak that will come down through these. The white streak. And I guess I should erase for that. I'm not sure how much I'm going to really color this in like I did with Elsa. I just kind of colored in the, um, my computer went to sleep. Yeah, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to color this in. I think I might just kind of lightly color some of it and leave it more sketch-like. Um, next up, I'm going to do her eyes. And her eyes will start, you know, the sides of her eye. They almost start in a little bit. Almost to line up with this ear line. And I'm going to draw a reference line again. So There we go. That's my reference line for her eyes. 
uh, her eyes very close to her cheek on this side. And her eye is not so close to her cheek on this side, uh, to the edge anyways. Um, and we're going to draw, let's see, her, they're very far apart, her eyes. About that far apart. Um, so I'm going to draw a big eye, comes down. And goes back. And then the other eye kind of curves up a little bit. And it's about the same height, so we want it to come up that high. There we go. And I'll erase my reference line. So let's see how this is going. Um, not bad, not bad. I think this is going to work. She's got some cute eyebrows up here, nice and bushy. Cute eyebrows over here, follows her brow a bit and then goes down at the end and her nose uh, let's start her mouth mouth will be about here it's her lip, bottom lip like this Sketching it out. Make sure those lips get thin right at the end, really, really thin. Uh, nose, her nose now is going to be about here. A little bit of a line there. And now we're going to draw her eyes in. So she's got a really round eye, people. It's going to go. You want it to, her top eyelid is going to cover it a little bit. The bottom, it's literally, the iris goes just down to the bottom of the eyelid and it covers just a little bit at the top and a huge pupil mm -hmm. and then this one it's going to go her pupil or iris is going to go slightly under the front slightly under the top. So like that. I'm gonna do a pupil. There we go. Now we're gonna color in our eyelashes. Big, big eyelashes, so. And there we go. Just got some littler, but still fairly dark eyelashes on the bottom. And same over here, big, some big eyelashes. And some little ones on the side here. There we go. 
Now, I don't like the outline I got on this eye. It's too uh, thick. I'm going to lighten it up a little bit. There we go. There we go. Oh dear. I'm just fixing this eye a bit. Wasn't really anything wrong with it, I just drew too many times there. So it got thick looking and then her eye wasn't gonna look as nice. There, uh, so that is pretty good. Um, I think her eye might go up a little quicker here. Having eye problems today. That's better though, um, yeah. Something Mark Curley mentioned once is that you're, they almost don't have a, a line right on the edge. So you kind of, if you erase that a little bit, it'll look a lot more like the real cartoon. Just like their nose doesn't have a line, like technically, like I don't even need the lines there for her nose. Um, that's about it. This is just gonna finish up her. Decorations on her shirt. And there's like a swirl here, and there's an embroidered little flower. Goes like that. That's all I'm going to do for uh, Anna. Um, color in a little bit. Um, oh, some shading on the face, just like we did with um, Elsa. So she's got kind of a cheekbone sort of embellishment here. And her ear is going to be a little darker. So around here. So it's kind of got like a. It's good there, right around her neck. On her just the edge of her chin. She's got a little bit of a shadow right there. It's like a dimple almost. And a little bit of darkness around her eye. To kind of show where her nose is. And that's about it for her, I think. So I'll just kind of smooth up that shading with my finger. Add to it, I'm going to put a little bit of shading on her shoulder here. And I'm going to say that's about it. If you, if you want to put a little glimmer of her in her hair, you can kind of erase a few spots here. It makes it look shinier. Um, so I'm just going to color that in a little bit and call it a day. So that is how you da draw Anna from Frozen. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like, comment below, and um, share your drawings with me on Instagram or on um, Google Plus. And yeah, have fun, keep drawing, see you on the next video.